Hi, this is Brad, and I had a problem with my Mac mail where I would see that I had an attachment, as evidenced by the little paperclip icon thingy, but I couldn't open the attachment. And the solution was so simple, it's almost laughable. That's why this video is going to be so short in part. I do understand that there are plenty of things that could cause this you know, I'm not even going to get into all those. I'm going to tell you what solved my problem, and hopefully it works for you. And if it doesn't, there's all sorts of other videos and comments on different ways uh, in the settings and stuff. So as I mentioned, I had email coming in with PDF files. I'd see the paperclip icon, and I could not open the attachment. I thought, what the hell? And then a brilliant thought came across my mind, and that was, hey, do you actually have Adobe Reader installed? And the answer was no. And I installed it, and guess what? Shazam, it fixed the problem. So we'll just show you real quickly how to do that. Now, you're going to do this on your Mac, and it's specifically for Mac. So just go to your favorite search engine, like I'm doing right now. Just go Adobe Reader. Hopefully, I can type okay while I'm doing this. Uh, Mac. And then I'll say free because we want the free version. Unless you want to pay, you can, but I'd rather not. And what you want is the the one, the second one there. Well, actually, it's the first one, the Adobe Acrobat Reader DC Download Free PDF Viewer for Windows Mac. Okay, just click on that. Now, for me, it's going to say open because I have it, but for you, it probably won't. So on your Mac, just download it. Then after you do that, you will go into your download folder, double-click it, uh, you probably want, if they give you two versions, pick the lighter one, and then it will auto extract and open up and install, and then go back to your Mac mail and see if it fixes the problem. It fixed mine, and it's such a simple thing. It's like, why doesn't it work? Well, duh, it doesn't work because I didn't have the software installed. So I wanted to make a short video, so we'll end it at that. I hope this video was something that helped you out. If you did find the video useful, give it a thumbs up, as they say. And of course, if you have any question or comments, leave them in the remarks section here on YouTube. As I mentioned, this won't solve everyone's problem, but for some of you, if it does, it's a really simple solution. So I do thank you for your time. And again, I hope we helped you out today. Bye-bye.